Welcome to the era of AI, in which we're going to kickstart the process of creating the reel. So first thing is first, we're going to go ahead and create the first voiceover, which is about billionaire reading habits. I'm just going to copy the voiceover for scene number one, and I'm going to head back right here and place the text. Now, Scott's voice, I'm not really convinced with it. I'm probably going to switch it off to one of the voices that we have over here. By the way, I have some voices that I have created, but I'm just going to go for Jack, right? And here, I'm going to, I'm going to say billionaire reading habits. So I'm going to make him generate this particular voiceover. It's not going to be that long. Billionaire reading habits. All right, so I can download. This is a pretty perfect voiceover. And right here, what I can do is I can go and start adding these voiceovers to 11 Labs. And you'll learn by doing. So I'm going to drag this into CapCut or just let me just go to CapCut instead and click on import right here. That's the first button you will have access to import. And I'm going to go ahead and import this particular voice by generated by 11 labs and drag it right over here. It should be dragged at the beginning, right? So I'm going to leave the voiceover as it is. Probably just at the end of it, there is a gap. And that gap, I'm going to have you zoom by zooming from here. And here, just split by splitting from here, eliminating that gap. And now we have a clear or a cleaner voiceover. So if we listen, billionaire reading habits. As you can see, this is pretty interesting. Reading. Right. So right now, what we need to do is we need to add a creative. Now, the creative, we have multiple ways of how we can do this. We can use Canva. We can use Leonardo. We can use a lot of things. Now, I'm going to use Leonardo in this case. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of the pictures that we have created recently. And these pictures, I'm just going to go ahead and use one of them. Now, there's an interesting thing about, uh, about Leonardo AI is that you can be able to generate a video from a picture. So, for example, if you'd like to generate a video from this particular uh, picture, you can just click here on Generate Motion. And I'm, this is, I think, a pro element. If you can use it for free, then good enough. And you can uh, control the motion strength and generate. What that will do is it will generate a video asset for us that we can utilize. But in case you want to use the image, you can use the image on CapCut just as long as you download it. And I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and download this image. So I'm going to download this image in case we want to use an image. All we need to do is to click on this particular little import button and basically select the image, which is this one. And you can use the image and place it right over here. Now, as you can see, the image is quite big. So I'm probably going to zoom out a little bit and then cut the image, right? Cut a big chunk of the image up until here. We can cut that part. And now we have this image that matches the screen and we can click on the image and add a bit of an animation to it. So if you want to add an animation to the image, you can click on the animation or on the video here. We have a bunch of, uh, of things that we can do, but I'm just going to go to animation. And here we have a bunch of animations. So depending on which animation you'd like, we have the rotate animation. We have all these animations. This is the animation that's going to show up at the beginning. Now, in my case, I'm going to go probably for maybe swing. And mm -hmm. if we add the swing animation, as you can see, the swing animation is added. And if we listen to this, billionaire reading habits, as you can see, this is a good beginning. I could also, instead of this, I could probably use this video, which is basically a video uh, that showing uh, basically uh, Bill Gates moving his head. Normally, videos are better than this, but because this is a drawing, this is the best it could do. Now, I'm not going to be utilizing these videos in this particular case, though this one might not really hurt. I'm probably going to use this one. But for the rest of them, I'm just going to be relying on images. I'm not going to be relying on videos. But for this one, I'm going to make an exception and I'm going to use the video by uh, Leonardo AI at the beginning, probably going to also give it an animation. So, and, and you could uh, come over here and crop the video just like you would do on Canva. As you can see, the video is moving and we can give it an animation right here as well at the beginning. So that billion shows like this. And so now let's move on to voiceover number two. So if we go back into chat GPT, voiceover number two is Warren Buffett's talking. So I'm going to copy Warren Buffett's text, head back into text to speech, 11 labs, place the text, click generate. That will generate a voiceover for us that we can go ahead and listen to. Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors, commits to reading 500 pages every day. He believes the knowledge accumulates like compound interest. All right, so this voiceover is basically very good. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go to Leonardo. And this time around, I'm also going to have it to create a uh, Warren Buffett wallpaper drawing, kind of like the one that we've created for the other ones. Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett, like this, 
Now, let me just make sure I put the name correctly. Wallpaper, black and white, scrappy ink drawing. And as you can see right now, I'm going to click on generate. And it will generate a picture of Warren Buffett that I can utilize. But first of all, before that, make sure that you download your voiceover. And I'm going to go right back into my uh, my CapCut. Drag the cursor right back here at the end of the first scene and click on import. And then what you want to do, you want to click on the voiceover, which we have just downloaded by 11 Labs. And you want to drag that particular voiceover right over here. This time around, I'm not going to do much cropping. Just make sure that the voiceover is there and I'm going to zoom out. And as you can see, the voiceover is here. Now, the only thing that we have to add is an image of Warren Buffett to showcase uh, what we're talking about. So let's go back into Leonardo. The image should be rendered by now. And so we can turn it into a video or we can download it as it is. In this case, I'm just going to download it as it is. Now, NSFW doesn't always mean that this is bad. So we can basically uncover those. I think this one is the best of them. So I'm going to download that. And I'm going to go back right into here. And I'm going to import this time around the image. Now, I might add an animation for this image as well. But first of all, let's go ahead and take the image, drag the image right over here. And let's make the image a little bit bigger to cover everything until the end of the track. And then click on the animation. And right here, we can maybe Warren add Buffett. this particular animation right here. And we can listen to this. Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors, commits to reading 500 pages every day. He believes the knowledge accumulates like compound interest. All right, so that's pretty good. So right now, let's go ahead and move on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into ChatGPT. So this is voiceover number three. Elon Musk taught himself and so on and so forth. So I'm going to copy this, head back into 11 labs, basically eliminate all of this and basically generate this particular voiceover right now. Taught himself rocket science by reading books, right? So let's generate this. Elon Musk taught himself rocket science by reading books. His advice? Read books and talk to people to learn anything you want. Okay, so right now I'm going to download this particular voiceover and then we're going to go back into Leonardo and have it generate a uh, wallpaper of Elon Musk. So Elon Musk wallpaper, Elon Musk wallpaper, and then generate. So as you can see right now, it's going to proceed on to generate a, a picture of Elon Musk that we can go ahead and utilize in a couple of seconds. Let's just wait a second. I'm going to go back to the voiceover, make sure I download it. Let's implement the voiceover while the image is being rendered. I'm going to click on the import button right here. And there you go. We have 11 labs. So I'm going to drag that, drag this over here, place the voiceover right over here. Make sure it's not on the second line. Make sure it's here. And then let's head back into Leonardo. By now, it should be done generating the picture of Elon Musk. All right. So we have a lot of pictures about Elon Musk. I'm interested in this particular picture. So I'm going to download it. And then let's head back right over here. And I'm going to click on the import button. And let me go ahead and add the picture of Elon Musk right over here. So I'm going to add that picture, drag it right over here. Now, of course, we need to adjust the picture so that it fits in the entire voiceover until the end. And let's drag our cursor in, uh, at the end, or probably we can visualize, but let's leave that till the end. Now we're at 19 seconds. That's good. We, we should make sure this is no more than, uh, I would say, than 60 seconds. We have another one of Bill Gates. Uh, so Bill Gates, we placed him at the beginning, so we might think, that this time around, we should generate a different image of Bill Gates. And now we have a bunch of images of Bill Gates. So this time we don't need to generate an image. We could just use one of the images we have over here. And I think this one is interesting. And so let me go back into the voiceover first. Let's generate the voiceover of, uh, about Bill Gates and let's generate it. It's not going to take that much time. Let's go and add the picture about Bill, Bill Gates. Gates. The voiceover is going to play. Hour every night before bed, he finds reading invaluable for learning and discovering new perspectives. As you can see, this is good. So I'm going to download that about Bill Gates and I'm going to click import right over here and import the voiceover of Bill Gates, the image I have already uploaded it, but we have to put the voiceover first because usually the voiceover is larger. Okie dokie, so I'm gonna make sure I take the picture of Bill Gates, which is this one, place it right over here or the drawing of Bill Gates and place it right over here. Don't worry, we're gonna format this into the size of an Instagram reel. This is a standard video we're going to format it into an Instagram reel. Now, what is left is basically two more voiceovers. We have one about Oprah. So let me just go ahead and download this or create a voiceover for it. And at the same time, let's go back to AI image generation. Right here at the prompt, just have to make, make a simple edit. Oprah, wallpaper, black and white. And let's go back here to the voiceover, generate the voiceover, click generate. And we just have to wait a couple of seconds. Oprah Winfrey, a media mogul 
credits books for much of her success. She says, books were my path to personal freedom. As you can see, this is good. So I'm going to go ahead and download the voiceover. And in the meantime, the Oprah wallpaper, black and white uh, drawing should be done. But first off, let's go ahead and add the voiceover. There's not much left. By the way, we're moving in record time to create this particular reel. Imagine if you can put the time to do this every single day. How far will you go if you can create a reel like this every single day using the same tactic? So let's place the voiceover here. Now, let's go back for the Oprah picture. Now, let me click this. All right, so we have these pictures except for they're not really 100% Oprah, but I think they're pretty good. Maybe Oprah in her uh, younger years. And so let me just download that image, import, and come around here and then add the image of Oprah. There you go. I'm going to drag it and then basically make sure this is bigger to fit everything. And finally, the final part, which is nothing more than the uh, closing of this. So embrace these billionaires' habits to unlock the power of reading and self-habit education. So I'm going to go ahead and basically create a voiceover for this. But first off, I want to generate a picture, or probably we can take the picture of Elon Musk, this one, and we could add it at the end. But first, let's go ahead and generate the voiceover, which was the last piece of the puzzle. So let's just have the voiceover here. Generate. Let's go back into CapCut. Embrace these billionaire habits to unlock the power of reading and self-education. All right, four seconds. Let's download that. We've already downloaded the picture of Elon. Let's go ahead, first of all, start off by importing the voiceover first. All right, so if I go 11 labs, let me click or double click. Let's drag the voiceover, place it right over here. And then basically, let's click on the import button and drag the last piece of the puzzle, which is the image. There you go. The image of Elon. Let's place it right over here. We could add a mixture of a lot of images, but I think this is enough. All right. So now that the images are there, what we need to do is I need to go to trans, uh, transitions. We can add some transitions in between. So here we have a bunch of transitions. So for example, we have this transition. I'm not sure if we can add it when it comes to images. Yes, we can. So let's just go ahead and add this transition. I'm just going to add transitions loosely here. I'm not really going to be very picky when it comes to transitions. Add them between every single image and the other. And for example, this one here, let's just add the rotate one. And for this one, let's add the swirl. And as you can see, we have transitions right now. So whenever we move from one to one, we have a transition happening, which is pretty interesting. But first and foremost, I would like to go ahead and I'm, I would like you to click here on the ratio and turn this instead of 16 by 9 inches into 9 by 16. Now, what that will do is it will transform everything like this, which is not really impressive, isn't it? But we have to fix this. So I'm going to click on the first image right here, and we have to do this image by image. And I want you to select that image like you would select a rectangle and make sure that you do it like this, right? So that we can scale it. Move on to the second one, and then move your cursor as you go. And what we can do also is we can move this man a little bit to the bottom. I think this is pretty good. So let's just leave it like that. Then move the cursor right over here to Elon. And then basically let's make this a little bit bigger. Move Elon so that people can have a look. And then move on to this one about uh, Bill Gates. And make sure that he's centered or on the screen. And then move to this one about Oprah. And make sure that she also appears and centered around the screen. And move to this one here, which is the final piece of the puzzle about Elon Musk, and move him right over here. And now, only thing we need to do is to add some captions. Now, we could add music, but I'm probably not going to add it. We probably can, can, suggest, we can ask ChatGPT what kind of music, but now let's just add captions first. So, in order to add captions, click here on text, and then select Auto Captions, this option, and then here, select the language. Now, the language of our caption is English, and then... Now, we don't have any, any current captions, so we don't have to clear anything. Just click on Create. What that will do is it will start generating captions for our entire video. And, of course, for the captions, they're pretty interesting because people can be able to read what is happening, right? So that's – and by the way, Instagram Reel, you can also use this for Shorts. You can also use this for YouTube Shorts as well and for TikTok, right? So TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram. Now, the captions have been added. Now, if we want to watch this – First of all, we can control the caption, by the way. So the text here, uh, we can probably go for maybe a different kind of text. Now we have, if we click here, we have a bunch of types of captions. So we might be uh, might be interested in a different type of caption than the one that would, was added by default. 
And also when it comes to the caption size, the typography here is very small. So probably we can be interested in maybe increasing it down to 16. And if I move the cursor, you can see right now that the captions are getting bigger. We can also control where to put the captions. So probably maybe put them around the center. In my opinion, I'm just going to go back and leave it where it was. And as far as the color, you can change the color. But most importantly, I think if you change the font size, that would be the most interesting or the most important. 18 seems to be pretty good. Now, let me scroll down. I think we need to add some line height here and some thickness when it comes to the stroke. Now, the line height, where exactly should I go to add it? Or I'm just going to probably not. Right, line, let's probably maybe add one. Yeah, I think that this clears things up. Let's move on to the other ones. And I think that the, the captions are not bad. The captions are pretty good. Now, the only one is this one because it was out. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to probably click this one here, change it to 18 so that it fits with the rest. As far as the color, before choosing the color, let's select this. This is the caption we selected for the rest of them. And when it comes to the stroke, let's increase the opacity a little bit. And probably for this one, we can make an exception. We can make it smaller. Now let's make sure not to touch the image. Now, and when it comes to the caption itself, we want to make sure that we spread it evenly and move it a little bit to the center. And now we can watch the video, right? Now, there was one caption missing, I think, here. Uh, because of the, I think, because of the thing, we can probably make it a little bit bigger. Let me go and have a look. All right, and I think that now we've done a pretty decent job, right? So the music, I don't think that would be really interesting to add a piece of music here. But let's go ahead and watch the entire video. We can watch the entire video by clicking right here and then start the video from scratch. And let's watch this. Billionaire Reading Habits. Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors, commits to reading 500 pages every day. He believes the knowledge accumulates like compound interest. Elon Musk taught himself rocket science by reading books. His advice? Read books and talk to people to learn anything you want. Phil Gates reads for an hour every night before bed. He finds reading invaluable for learning and discovering new perspectives. Oprah Winfrey, a media mogul, credits books for much of her success. She says, books were my path to personal freedom. Embrace these billionaire habits to unlock the power of reading and self-education. Well, I think that's a pretty interesting uh, reel. So I'm going to go ahead and click on export. Now, of course, CapCut is very interesting. Uh, and here, uh, make sure the format is MP4. You can go for 4K. And if you'd like, you can go for a frame rate of 60 FPS frames per second. And choose the file where you want to download this. In this case, I'm just going to go to the downloads because I want to put it there. Select the folder and make sure that you give it a title. So I'm going to say Billionaire Habits Real Instagram number one. And basically click export and that will immediately download it in a couple of seconds. Of course, if you want to apply music, you can apply just like you applied the voiceover. You just have to go and make sure you select the music that is suitable for your reel. And if you're lost, you can just go back into ChatGPT and you can ask it, what kind of music should I use for my reel? What kind of music should I should I use in the background? In the background and add a dot. And as you can see right now, if I do this, it's going to give us what kind of background music that we are we ought to use. And in the meantime, the video is downloading. So right now that we have created the first reel, we're going to go and apply the same knowledge to create the second reel. We're going to try to do it a little bit different this time. But apart from that, I wish you nothing but the best of the best. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next lecture. Keep learning, keep mastering all of the AI tools.